Hey guys, it's Parav from PD Tech HD, um, and in my hands I have the LG G Flex 2, which is soon coming to the UK market. So here's a quick hands on video of it. Alright, so here I am taking out the G Flex 2 from the box. An initial impression, it feels really good in the hand. Um, obviously, they've shrunk down the size from 6 inches to 5.5, and it feels more, a, lot, a lot more comfortable in my hand. And you know, for those of you guys with average hands or big hands like myself, you'll feel really well, uh, welcome at home. Uh, the device, the curvature makes it feel really nice in the hand as well. It, you know, it's, it's a lot more uh, grippable and you know, it's easier to hold as well. Um, specs, this has been bumped up to a Snapdragon 810 chip now. Uh, coupled with 2 gig of RAM as well and in the short time that I've used it the performance hasn't been like there's been no lag at all Okay, so you can see the performance uh, is really good initially. Uh, Jetpack Dryad isn't the most intensive of games but you can see the shadows coming through really nicely, all the background lighting, all the shaders, uh, a lot of different stuff. And the G Flex 2 just handles it absolutely well. Uh, there's no lag at all. And obviously the display resolution full HD, so this game looks really crisp and clear. Um, and I'm not running into any problems playing this game. Um, I'm not sure if the same could be said for Dead Trigger 2. I mean, we'll have to wait and see if I get more hands-on time with it to try that out. But Initially, like I said, Jetpack Joyride runs really well on the device. The viewing angles are really crisp on this display. Um, it is a POLED display, and the resolution is 1920 by 1080 pixels. You've got Android Lollipop on here, uh, coupled with the LG G UI on top as well. So that gives you certain features like gesture shot, uh, which has been improved since when it was found initially on the G3. So now the distance, you can actually use it with a selfie stick um, and get up to 1.5 meters and still get that nice shot as well. Um, and what, what, when you take that shot, you can also pan down the G Flex quite quickly and you get like a nice preview of it straight away. So you know if you want to keep that picture or delete it. Um, one of the features that was on the previous G Flex that's no longer there was quick theater. So those of you guys that remember my G3 um, video on that, a G Flex or a video, originally one, um, which will be linked down below. You could basically peek into um, YouTube and certain videos uh, and that kind of stuff. Now what they've done is they've changed it a bit. So from the lock screen, you can swipe down and you get a preview into your notifications and the clock as well, which looks more, which looks a lot more elegant um, as well. Um, you still have got the familiar knock code and knock on features, which you know LG users will find themselves at home as well. And in terms of the buttons, you've got rear facing buttons as well, similar to G2, G3, and the original G Flex as well. Um, something new on the G Flex 2 is this laser autofocus, which was first introduced in the LG G3. So that allows for quick um, focusing. So if I bring up the camera here and just show that, uh, let's just switch to the rear camera. Okay, so if we go to zoom in a bit. Right, so let's say I want to focus in on the sandwich. Okay, so you can see if I focus there, it's instant focus, and that's due to that laser um, autofocus. And then you can tap, the tape, tap to take the picture as well. Uh, so coupled with the G Flex 2 is a new fast charger. Um, so you can see it here. It's got the same form factor as found with normal chargers, but now this allows you to charge up to 50% in only 40 minutes. Uh, which is quite quite quick as well. It's a 3,000 milliamp hour battery, like I said. So, you know, it should fully charge in about two hours. In about two hours, it should fully charge. Um, so, so that's really convenient. Um, the only other thing to really highlight is the curvature, obviously. So, like I said, it feels a lot better in the hand. And when it rests on a table, you can actually put up to 140 kilograms of weight um, onto it and it, you know, it retains its shape, which is quite nice. Okay, so the back cover is removable, um, which gives you access to the micro SIM and the micro SD card slot as well. Uh, so it comes with 16 gig built in uh, for the UK variant, but there are international models with 32 as well. Um, but the UK variant comes with 16 and like I said, you can expand it a further 128 by use of micro 
um, SD card. The battery, as you can see here, is actually curved, which allows the whole curvature of the device to, to happen. Um, so the battery is non-removable. Uh, so, so there's that. But you can see that you can get quick access to the SIM card and the micro SD. Um, so you can customize the look and feel of your G-Flex 2 by use of uh, quick circle cases, which are due to be coming later. Um, the self-healing technology has also been enhanced. So now rather than taking a few minutes for scratches or light cosmetic damage to heal, um, it's a matter of seconds. Um, obviously that depends on how much heat is applied, so the more you rub it, the more friction you generate, um, and therefore the marks go a lot quicker as well. Um, but overall, this is coming to UK markets in March. I think exclusivity is with Vodafone and Carphone Warehouse as well, uh, with later retailers to follow. Um, and I mean, for those of you guys that are looking for a new phone, you know, it's the latest specs. It's going to do you well for two years. Um, obviously, LG's thought about the whole cosmetic thing, thinking that after two years, your phone may get scarf damaged. You know, this, this is going to repair itself, essentially. Um, so that's quite cool. And like I said, overall, the performance is really good. Um, an update to 5.0.2 should be coming shortly as well. Uh, but for now, you're running 5.0.1, which is the latest um, Android for non-Nexus devices. So I hope you guys enjoyed watching my hands-on video of the LG G Flex 2. Um, as you can see, there's a lot of features to be had uh, with this device. Not only is it the latest spec uh, device as well with the Snapdragon 810, you've got really nice features uh, that people liked in the G3 and the original G Flex in a much more compact feature uh, phone as well. Um, so overall, guys, I hope you enjoyed it. Please do leave a like down below if you enjoyed the video. That really does help out the channel and keeps more event coverage coming as well. Uh, feel free to subscribe for more tech videos. Um, got a lot more coming soon. And drop a comment with any questions or feedback that you have down below. Thank you very much again for watching and I'll see you all in the next video. Take care.